Welcome back everyone to my channel. My name is Joelle. This is lesson 82, yoga to improve flexibility and mobility in your hamstrings. Let's begin the class in child pose, kneeling on the floor from all fours, spread your knees wide, big toes touching, center your uh, hips back towards your heels, allow your forehead to come to the floor, walk your hands out towards the front of your mat so that your palms are resting gently on the floor. Close your eyes, shift your awareness inside to prepare for this uh, practice. Start to connect with your breath. Inhale and exhale. As we get older, staying flexible and strong becomes uh, super important. Hamstrings is a group of muscles that run along uh, the back of uh, your uh, thighs, starting at uh, your lower pelvis and attaching to your knee and lower legs. This uh, muscle tends to get really tight as we age because we spend so much time sitting on our computers. I invite you all today to join me on the mat to stretch the hamstrings. Inhale and exhale. Let's uh, release. Gently open your eyes. Go into all fours for cat and cow. Let's uh, inhale, gaze up, arch the back, drop the belly. Exhale, round the back. Inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Inhale, drop the belly, arch the back. Gaze up, exhale, round the back. Inhale into cow, exhale into cat. And from here, let's go into tabletop hip circles to stretch our low back. Keep uh, both hands glued to the floor. Begin by slowly rotating your hips to make circles in a clockwise direction. Inhale and exhale. And whenever you are ready, rotate your hips to make circles in an anti-clockwise direction. From here, let's go into gate pose. We begin kneeling, pelvis neutral. Let's extend our left leg out, big toe mount rooting into the mat. Externally rotate the left the hip. Keep your right hip directly over the knee. Inhale, lengthen the spine and slide your left hand down the left thigh. Let's lift our right arm out to the side and arch it over your head. Let's... Uh, change sides gate pose opens and stretches the side body let's uh, change sides inhale and exhale inhale and exhale Let's uh, grab two blocks to put uh, on the side. From uh, all fours, step your right foot forward between your hands, aligning the right knee over the heel. Lower your left knee to the floor and uh, keeping the right knee fixed in place. Slide the left leg back until you feel a comfortable stretch in the left uh, front uh, thigh and groin. Turn the top of your left foot to the floor. Inhale and uh, lift uh, your torso upright. Place your hands uh, on your right knee for a moment. Draw your tailbone uh, down towards the floor. From here, you can place your hands on two blocks, uh, one on each side, to build up the floor so that your back remains straight, belly in and up. Maintain uh, the length of the spine. As uh, you inhale, sink a little deeper into the front leg. As you exhale, shift your left hip back so it sits directly over your left knee and straighten your right leg to come into half a split stretch. 
inhale and exhale make uh, sure your uh, toes point to the sky and root the heel into the floor keep uh, hand uh, on uh, blocks on uh, any height that feels comfortable for you press your belly button to your spine to keep your back from rounding from here, let's go into low lounge, half split flow. Keep your hands on the blocks. Inhale, bend the right knee to come into low lounge. Exhale, extend your right leg to go into half split. Inhale into low lounge. Exhale into half split inhale into low lounge exhale into half split Inhale into low lounge. Exhale into half split. Inhale into low lounge. Exhale into half split. And uh, uh, from here, let's uh, change uh, sides. Step your left foot uh, forward between your hands, aligning. Uh, step your left foot forward between your hands, aligning the left knee over the heel. Lower your right knee to the floor. Uh, keeping the left knee fixed in place. Slide the right leg back until you feel a comfortable stretch in the right uh, front thigh and groin. Turn uh, the top of your right uh, foot to the floor. Inhale and uh, lift your torso uh, upright. Place uh, your hands uh, on uh, the blocks. to build up the floor so that your back remains straight. Belly in and up. And from here, let's uh, shift your right hip back so it sits directly over your right knee and uh, straighten your left leg to come into half split. And from here, let's uh, go into low lounge, a half split uh, flow. Keep your hands uh, on the block. Inhale, bend knee to come into low lounge. Exhale, extend, bend your left knee to come into low lounge. Exhale, extend uh, your left leg to go into half split. Let's uh, inhale into low lounge. Exhale into half split. 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 
inhale into low lounge exhale into half split and from here inhale let's change sides inhale tuck the back foot to go into high lounge pose knee off the floor and hold for a moment exhale to go into pyramid pose hands on blocks flex front uh, uh, foot and hold front uh, heel rooting on mat Keep uh, your hands uh, on your block, either horizontal for the lowest setting or vertical for the highest setting. Tuck your back foot and lift your back leg off the floor. Keep your spine nice and long. Move uh, your shoulders down and back. Your front knee is aligned directly over your heel. High lounge exhale uh, into exhale into pyramid pose straighten the front uh, leg shifting your hips back torso stays uh, long focus on drawing uh, front hip back flex foot root uh, heel into the mat let's uh, change uh, sides Tuck the back foot to go into high lounge pose, knee off the floor and hold for a moment. Exhale to go into pyramid pose, hands on block, flex front foot and hold front heel rooting on mat. Keep your hands uh, on your blocks, either horizontal for the lowest setting or vertical for the highest setting. Uh, inhale. Inhale into high lounge uh, pose. Hands uh, on blocks. Exhale into pyramid pose. Move into alternating uh, low lounge to half split with the uh, blocks, uh, keeping uh, hips even and uh, full breast, uniting breast with movement. Inhale into high lounge. Exhale into pyramid pose. Inhale into high lounge. Exhale into pyramid uh, pose. Move with the breath. And uh, let's uh, release. This uh, flow is great to stretch your hamstring, glutes, hip flexor, and strengthening the hips. And from here, let's go into lizard pose. Let's uh, exhale to go into lizard pose. Grab your blocks and place them on the inside of your right foot. Slowly lower the elbow to the blocks. Elbow on the blocks. Rest your back knee on the floor and uh, slide the knee back a little. Front uh, knee stacked uh, over ankle. Toes out, knees uh, and toes pointing in the same direction. Inhale and exhale.
Inhale and exhale. Focus on your breath. Your breath is your anchor. Inhale and exhale. Lizard pose stretches and opens the hips, stretches and strengthens glutes, hamstring and spine, releasing tension in the back. And uh, from here, let's uh, inhale, remove the blocks to the sides. Inhale as you bring your elbows to the floor with uh, your forearms uh, flat on the mat. If it's comfortable for you, spread your palms out on the floor. Use uh, a block uh, underneath your forehead. Inhale and uh, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Lizard pose. And let's uh, release. Let's uh, change uh, sides. Grab your blocks and place them on the inside of your left foot. Slowly lower the elbows to the block. Elbows on the block. Rest uh, your uh, back uh, knee on the floor and uh, slide uh, the knee back a little. Front uh, knee stack over ankle, toes out, knees and toes pointing in the same direction. Lizard pose, stretches and opens the hips, stretches and strengthen glutes, hamstring and spine, releasing tension in the back. Inhale and exhale. Enjoy the stretch. Inhale and exhale. Focus on your breath. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in and breathe out. Remove the blocks to the sides if it's comfortable for you. Inhale as you bring your elbows to the floor with your forearm flat on your mat. Spread your palms out on the floor. Use a block underneath your forehead. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale, breathe in and breathe out. Let's uh, release, let's go into all fours. Place the blocks to the side and we go into all fours, into child pose. Send your hips back towards your heels, big toes touching, knees wide, forehead on mat, arms extended in front of you. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Relax for a moment. Inhale, exhale and enjoy child pose. From all fours, tuck the toes. Send the hips uh, back and up into downward facing dog. Tuck the toes, send the hips back and up into downward facing dog. Walk your dog by bending one knee and then slowly bending the other knee. Pedaling out your legs, 
bend one knee, hold, and then the other. Enjoy stretching the hamstring, the calves. And let's bend both knees, step to the front of uh, the mat. Let's uh, go into Uttanasana variation, hands to elbow with feet hip distance apart, feet parallel, place your arms together, hands touching opposite elbow. Let uh, your torso get super heavy. You can bend your knees if you want to. And uh, uh, let's uh, sway from uh, side to side. And from here, let's uh, from here place one hand in front of your foot. Take a gentle bend in the same uh, side leg. Extend your opposite arm into the sky and twist to one side. Torso upward and gaze up. Inhale, uh, center. Exhale. Twist to the other side. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to one side. Inhale, center. And from here, let's go into Pada Hastasana. Lift your toes up. Micro bend the knees. Place your palms under the feet. Palms facing up. Toes touching the wrist. This uh, pose stretches the hamstring, calf, and back. Let's release to go into Malasana squat. Separate your feet wider to the edges of the mat and point your toes outwards. Squat down, lengthen your spine to the best of your ability. Let's go into Malasana twist. Malasana twist. From here, let's go back to center Malasana and the feet parallel. Inhale, flat back. Hands on shins, exhale, forward fold. Press your feet into the mat. Inhale to rise up, hands out, round and up. Hands exhale, hands to heart, samastitihi. From uh, here, let's... Uh, from Tadasana, begin facing the long side of the mat. Step the feet wide apart, three to four feet apart. Feet as close to parallel as feels comfortable. Let's interlace uh, the hands. Inhale, lengthen the spine, open the heart. Fold uh, forward into Prasarita Padottanasana. Move your weight into the balls of the feet while grounding the front of the heels. Hips uh, directly over the heels. Relax the neck. From here, let's release. Let's go into Parvita Prasarita Padottanasana. Feet wide, bring your hand, your hands to rest on the floor. One hand stays on the floor and we lift the other arm up towards the ceiling, twisting through the torso. Inhale and exhale, change sides whenever you're ready. From here, let's go into Skandasana. Bend uh, your uh, right knee into a half squat. Keep your left uh, leg straight and flex uh, your left uh, foot, rooting the um, left uh, heel into the mat. Flex the foot, hands in Anjali Mudra. Change sides, pressing uh, hips back while keeping spine lifted. Skandasana. Inhale and uh, exhale. Let's uh, release. Let's go back to center. Bend your knees. Lift up one vertebrae at a time. From here, let's uh, place two blocks, one on each side of the mat. Let's stand tall in Tadasana at the front of the mat.
Let's stand tall in Tadasana at the front of the mat. Step your right foot back. From here, shift your hips to the right and move the arms and spine to the left to the point of maximum extension. Release the hand on your shin to ease the lengthening and slight rotation of the spine. Torso turn to the side wall and align directly over the leg. Triangle pose. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Make sure you have a block at the front of the mat. We're going to transition in stages from triangle pose to half moon by bending the front knee placing the fingertip about a foot in from the front foot on the block, slide the back foot closer to the front foot, and then begin slowly to straighten the front leg while keeping the back hip rotated fully open. Inhale and exhale. Let's uh, release. And uh, let's uh, change uh, sides. We change side and uh, shift uh, your hips to the left and move the arms and spine to the right to the point of maximum extension. Release the hand on your shin to ease the lengthening and slight rotation of uh, the spine. Torso turn to the side wall and align directly over the leg. Triangle pose. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. From here, let's uh, transition in stages from triangle pose to half moon by bending the front knee, placing the fingertips about uh, a foot in from the front foot on the block. Slide the back foot closer to the front foot and then begin slowly to straighten the front leg while keeping the back hip rotated uh, fully open. Inhale and exhale, half moon pose. Let's uh, gently release, place the, the blocks to the side, stand tall in Tadasana. Let's stand tall in Tadasana at the front of the mat. Inhale, hands out, round and up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, hands on shin. Let's uh, exhale, step back to plank. Activate your core, fingers wide. Actively engage the muscle through the arms and upper back. Press the mat away from you. Reach your heels back. Plank pose. Gently place your knees on your mat. From uh, all fours. Tuck your toes, send your hips back and up into downward facing dog. Press firmly through your palms and knuckles. Press the bases of your index finger actively into the floor. Rotate your arms externally so your elbow creases face your thumbs. Draw your lower ribs in, belly in and up, stretch your back, maintain a flat back. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Let's release. Gently place uh, your knees on mat from all fours. Let's uh, go into sitting position. Bring your legs uh, wide apart up to a point where you feel a good stretch. Place a block to rest your forehead. You can start with two blocks if you want to. And inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale. Place your hands on the floor in front of you. Flex the feet. Feel a stretch into your hamstrings. As you come deeper into the pose, you can remove one block and keep only one block on any height that feels comfortable for you. 
Inhale and exhale. Enjoy the stretch. Inhale and exhale. Enjoy the stretch. Inhale and exhale. Enjoy the stretch. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Enjoy the stretch in the hamstring. Let's uh, release. From here, uh, grab your bolster to go into a supported split. Step your right foot forward. Walk your right foot forward and uh, walk your left knee back. Allow your weight to be supported by the bolster. Place hands on bolster. You can begin to straighten the front leg and lift up your toes. Move your bolster back so you can sit on it. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Enjoy the hamstring stretch. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale and exhale. Supported split. Inhale and exhale. And from here, let's uh, change uh, sides. Step your Step your left foot forward, walk your left foot forward and walk your right knee back. Allow your weight to be supported by the bolster. Place hands on bolster. You can begin to straighten the front leg and lift up your toes. Move your bolster back so you can sit on it. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Enjoy the hamstring stretch. Inhale and exhale. Let's uh, release. Let's uh, place the bolster to the side. Let's uh, grab a strap 
a yoga strap. If you don't have a yoga strap, you can grab a belt. Let's go into Supta Padengustasana A. Grab uh, your yoga strap and uh, both knees uh, bent, feet flat on the floor. Place uh, the strap on the ball of the right foot uh, to bring it perpendicular to the floor. Raise uh, the leg, hold uh, the strap with uh, both hands, flex foot, open toes. You can extend your left uh, leg straight. You can extend uh, your left uh, leg along floor. You can extend your left leg straight along the floor. Enjoy stretching the hamstring. Whenever you're ready, change sides. Place the strap on the ball of the left foot. To bring it perpendicular to the floor. Raise the leg, hold the strap with both hands. Flex foot, open toes. You can extend uh, your right leg straight along floor, flexing uh, the foot. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Enjoy the stretch in the hamstrings. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Let's uh, release. Let's place the strap to the side. Let's uh, go into happy baby, clasping the feet and drawing the knees towards the floor while keeping the sacrum flat on the floor and the heels are lined over the knees. Move the spine from side to side and massage the back. Inhale and exhale. From here, let's go into eye of the needle. Bend the both knees, bring the right ankle, cross it over the left thigh. Bring your hands through and interlace the fingers holding on to the left leg behind the thigh. Flex both feet, focus on the breath. Inhale and exhale. Enjoy stretching groin, hip. Inhale and uh, exhale. Change sides whenever you're ready. Bring the left ankle, cross it over the right thigh. And from here, let's go into Supta Matsyandrasana on a bolster. Place your bolster on the left side in line with the midsection of the body a few inches away from the body. Lie on your back with your arms extended out to the sides. Bring your right knee up to your chest while the left leg remains straight. Drop your right knee to the left on the bolster while simultaneously taking the face, uh, taking the face, to the right, if it's comfortable for you. The right leg is nicely dropped on the bolster. Keep both shoulders pressing down on the mat. You can place your left hand on your uh, right knee and lay, the, and lay your right uh, arm out to the side. Gaze towards uh, your right hand. Breathe into the twist. 
let's uh, change sides see what uh, feels comfortable for you listen to your body and modify the pose as needed I love to use uh, a bolster to support my body and uh, make this pose more comfortable with the proper alignment and regular practice Supta Matsyendrasana can help uh, to release tension in the muscles of the back it can help stretch and release tension in the muscles of the back, improve flexibility and promote relaxation in both body and mind. Inhale and exhale, breathe into the twist. Inhale and exhale, breathe into the twist. Inhale and exhale. Breathe into the twist. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Let's uh, release. Let's uh, go into our final resting pose, Shavasana. Let's place the bolster underneath the knees as we lie back into Shavasana. We bring the bolster closer up to the thigh rather than just underneath the knees. Arms alongside your body. Relax your jaw. Relax your eyes. Your body is resting. Your mind is relaxed, your heart is at peace. Quiet mind, quiet body, Shavasana. From here, let's uh, place the bolster to the side. We're going to release the practice of uh, Shavasana very slowly, very gently. Begin to make small movements with your fingers and toes. Take a deep breath into your belly, interlace your fingers and stretch uh, your body. Fold uh, to one side, head uh, resting on arm. Push yourself up with both hands. Sit in a comfortable seat. Hands uh, in prayer to heart center. Place the hands on your forehead, reminding us to have clear and loving thoughts. Place the uh, hands on your heart, reminding us to have clear and loving intentions. Place hands on mouth, reminding us to have clear and loving communications namaste thank you so much everyone if you like uh, the class please subscribe notice how you felt before the practice and how you feel now